Hey everybody, today we've got a great video from Sarah Wolf. I don't know if you know her, but uh, you're going to know her story a little bit after seeing this video. It's brief, but in it she mentions two things that I think are just going to bless your socks off. So watch this in an attitude of prayer, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Hi, a lot of you probably don't know me. Um, my name is Sarah Wolf. Uh, Megan asked me to record a video for the 21 Days of Prayer. Um, just to preface, I have gone through a lot of health issues recently. My intestines burst back in April, and then that was a three-month recovery. And then just recently, I had to have an ovary removed. As a result, I haven't been able to work, and I'm not going back to work until the 2nd. And I actually consider this a God thing because I literally just came back from getting some Starbucks and I ended up spending probably good half an hour, 45 minutes talking to a random stranger about God, about her issues, about my issues. I invited her to our church. I told her I would pray for her. I'm going to pray for her. It's just God uses all of us in whatever way he can. I don't know why I'm crying, but I know for a fact that the reason I was in the hospital, the reason that I've had all these medical issues, one of those reasons was so I could meet this woman and witness to her and pray for her, her and her family. I I know this sounds funny, I know it sounds weird, but God can use you. You just have to be open for it. That's really all I wanted to say. It doesn't matter what you're praying for, just as long as you believe that God will answer you in His way. Because his, 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 the way he answers prayer isn't exactly how you know he would want him to answer it. It may be something completely different. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, thank you, Megan, for asking me to do this. I wasn't sure about it when I first said yes, because I'm not really good at speaking in front of people or at all. But I'm perfectly fine talking to random strangers in a Starbucks. I feel like that's how God uses me. As a way to witness. To say, this is what kindness looks like. To share your story and be willing to listen to others. That's... That's basically all prayer is. Praying is telling God your needs and the needs of others and just listening for him to answer. That's all I wanted to say, really. You know, as Sarah was sharing towards the end of what she said there, it made me think that prayer being a thing that you tell God what's on your heart and then you give him the space to speak to you I realized for probably the first time that giving God the space to speak to you is the thing that happens the whole rest of the day. Sure, there's times when you pray and then you spend some silence right there in that moment listening to God. But then there are other times when you're in Starbucks and God opens a door for you and you walk into it. You walk right into the opportunity that he brings your way. And so let me encourage you today to be praying, not just now, but the rest of the day. Maybe this morning you share your needs and your requests, but then all day long be listening to see how God might give you an answer. Let me pray for you right now. Lord God, I just ask that you would be at work in our lives, helping us to be more aware of your presence, not just in this moment right now, but all day long. Allow us to see the opportunities you bring into our lives as a moment of you speaking to us. And I pray that we would be attentive to hear it. 
Lord, we love you and we thank you for giving us this time together this morning and for teaching us the lesson that you've taught us through Sarah. And God, we pray you would continue to bless her on her journey of recovery, especially as she's trying to bless other people with her story too. Lord, thank you for giving us this time together. Go with us today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you listen to him the rest of this day.